What up, internet? So, I have been drawing, and yes, this is my new retainer. It's humongous. If you've seen my, any of my other vlogs with my small retainer, this is humongous. I don't know if I'm going to be able to wear it as a retainer, like at all. Because I got it because I got a two-pack of those small retainers. Oh, God. I got a two-pack of those small retainers, and I lost one of them. And I know exactly when I lost it in junk, and there was no way I was going to get it back. Like, it's so small and so clear. So I ordered these in a two-pack because I wanted a black retainer. Oh, God, I can't do it. I wanted a black retainer that did, like, this sort of thing, but I didn't expect it to be so large. I accidentally ordered two, and it sent the confirmation email to an email that it never sends it to. Like, I've been using my Hot Topic account for years. And it never sends it to that email, but it decided to send it to my other email. So, I didn't know about to. I didn't ever get the confirmation email. And my account history didn't show that I bought it. So, it was weird. So, I called them up and they gave me a refund for one of them. And I find out that they had actually come in the mail. Well, the black one in the other pack is broke. So, I'm so happy I got a refund on it. Because it came broke. Because it's a glass retainer. And I don't know if I'm even going to be able to wear it as a retainer because I have a small nose. So, I don't know. If it's like stays like this, I'm good. But it's definitely, like, it itches my nose so bad it makes me sneeze. So, I don't know. I'm going to see if I can wear it like a retainer today and see if I can deal with it, like, at work or something. Also, I thought I was going to work today. And they changed the schedule and didn't tell me. So, I went, you know, five minutes there because I live five minutes away. And left because they were like you don't work today and I'm like the schedule said I did and we checked that and they changed the schedule so that's fun but I've also been doodling so I'm gonna switch cameras so that I can doodle <laughs> so I can show you my doodles that I've done one of them I didn't do today but um I just wanted to talk about a few things with doodling and whatnot okay here are the doodles this is the one i didn't do today and it ended up like it wasn't supposed to be a cyclops and i technically appropriated all of these images like none of them came from my own brain but because i messed up when i was drawing this she became a cyclops so it's still technically an original drawing because it's a cyclops and not anything else and then this was a mess up and i went and did it on the other side and this one really was appropriated but I did a few changes because I messed up. A, um, there isn't supposed to be this much of her chest showing. But I just added some jewelry and kind of like covered everything up and made it look more natural. And added this little heart. And like added more jewelry everywhere. And this arm kind of looks fucked up. But it'll look okay. And I added all these different colors and made her hair kind of really pretty. And her pants are down lower. And like one of the designs that's like a little bit lower down isn't there anymore because her legs are so sh like uh, just about the size of her torso so I kind of ran out of room and just made her pants shorter so I'm sorry to the person who I appropriated this from if you hate the fact that I took it but I mean I'm letting everyone know it's not my original drawing I just made a few changes to it and that's obviously like a very popular hand drawing but the designs on it is also not rigid. And there's this little mushroom where I found like a blank one. So all these on it are original, like the colors and the dots and whatnot. To me, they are original because I just found this blank mushroom and drew it. And then this guy's face is also not original and not done very well because I had a very small area to do it in. Like here's my hand and here's the drawing. So I had a very small area to do it in because I wanted to fill this area and I really like the way it looked and it's pretty simple of a drawing but it's also not my original drawing. This is not my original drawing and I wasn't even going to draw on this page but I seen it and I loved it and I think it's amazing. She's a bit more smiling in mine than the original but I'm really bad at drawing lips the first time I do them. Like those lips look pretty weird. My, the lips I usually do, I don't have an example but I'm good at those, and then I'm bad at other ones, and then the hand, you see, went through the other side, and it made this really awesome, like, it's hard to pick up how pretty it is on camera, like, this really awesome imprint on this page, for some reason, I think, because these, these are, uh, gel highlighters, it took, where well, I pressed down from, uh, because I was drawing these afterwards, after I do this, and I was pressing down, and I think the not dry gel highlighters 
imprinted what I was drawing on this page onto this one and made a really, really cool effect and I think it looks freaking awesome. But yeah, I just, I love this drawing and I love the glasses and everything. So I do that too. But this, this, and this, and this, and this were all drawn today. But this one wasn't. So yeah, I'm just the doodling in my little because ever since my February favorites, I haven't done anything in this book. Because I showed this in my February favorites and whatnot. So, yeah. I haven't, this is the only thing in between. I don't know what date this was done because I didn't date it. I dated this. I dated all of these pages for today's date. But I really thought this was really a beautiful drawing. So, yeah. I want to see if I can do more of this. Like, drawing on here. But, like coloring this page in gel and or putting like a piece of paper in between the pages and doing this in gel like a piece of paper in between and then having it in print on the side I think that would be really cool but I don't know maybe maybe